Today, I want to talk to you about this case study. If you were at the Traffic and Conversions Conference uh, last month, you probably saw us talk about this on stage. Um, but for those of you who are not, uh, let me just walk you through this case study of how our digital marketing agency was able to drive some pretty big increases in performance for an e-commerce account by using this uh, AI power business intelligence tool. For this case study, we used it on creative performance. It's an e-commerce account. Like I said, a lot of what we were looking at is specific landing pages, copy variants, and images that we're testing in this account. How we did it before was a lot of pivot tables. We would take the data out of the ad account, organize things in a way that we could see exactly what uh, was performing. And so that was the old way of doing it. We had a lot of challenges, you know, training new hires how to use a pivot table. And sometimes things are like there's a space or something added into a name that screws things up. And so there's a lot of limitations, I would say, with that old approach. By pulling this data into Accio, it's a lot more forgiving, I would say. You don't have to format your pivot table exactly right anymore. Um, and, and also there's like the benefit of data automation, right? So you don't have to even make the pivot table each time you can automate that data flow into Accio and then go reference the report and make decisions based off of that. So you can do it faster. The other thing is making the decisions at an aggregate, right? So in the old days, we would do it in Excel quite a bit, right? We'd make a pivot table. We could see the aggregated performance, whether it's ROAS or CPA, CPL, across all mentions of not just the ad variant, but ad variants that mention landing page name this or create a variant number this, et cetera, et cetera. And so uh, now we're just able to automate some of that aggregated decision making. Yeah, I kind of talked about this challenge, what we were hoping to do. What we built out is this data pipeline pooling that ad creative performance data into Accio and then running things through the predict function within Accio. So what you're able to do is find the variables that are correlating most often to ROAS. Um, and return on ad spend. That was the KPI we were managing to, but you could set it towards any variable in there. What we found is that there are some copy angles that we didn't even think about that had the number one correlation to results. And then there were other variables that weren't really part of our strategic plan that now are a part of our strategic plan because of the insights that we gained here through it. You know, this client, when they came to us, they'd never hit their ROAS target before. They worked with other agencies. They had in-house media buyers. And then even working with us for a couple of months, we drove improvement in ROAS, but we still were not hitting their target until we deployed this system. So you can see these, these uh, increases in revenue, increase in ROAS. It was pretty stark contrast in results. And mind you, we had been driving improvement for a couple of months before we even deployed this. And so this is an improvement from the improvement. We believe that we're in the midst of an AI arms race. If you're working in an agency environment, really, I think that it is uh, an arms race of who can build up an arsenal of these AI tools and who can do more, right? Um, it's a matter of efficiency, but it's a matter of competitiveness, right? If you're launching even 25% more creative variants than your competition, that goes a long way. If your creative variants are improving 5% each time by using a system like this, then that goes even farther. And so it is really the time to start operationalizing your systems with some of these AI tools. As an agency owner, I can't recommend Accio enough. It's really been a game changer for our business. And these results speak for themselves there. If you're an agency owner, if you're working within an agency, I really recommend that you fill out the form below and get started with Accio. They'll walk you through the strategy of it. They'll go through where you have data right now, how we can get that data connected into Accio, what reports and dashboards and automations you can build out with that. 
Um, every agency is a little bit different. And so it's good to have that conversation with their team, kind of get the technical insights on what data you can connect and all of that the good stuff. Definitely, I would recommend this 100% any agency, any consulting company, even if you're a freelancer, it might make sense. So fill out the form below, drop your email address so that you can get started and get connected with.